Hi everybody, thank you for watching Daytime. Hey, if you are planning on sprucing up your home this spring, the easiest and the cheapest way to do it is with paint. Jeff Monsine from Splat Paint is giving us Painting 101, tips and techniques to paint like a pro, which he is, so this is going to be a lot of fun. But these are just the most basic tips. We're not actually painting today. Absolutely. We're just going to talk about um, how to how to pick the different things that you have to do, what techniques you should do, um, and how, what kind of paint to use, and what kind of brushes to use, and just to kind of give everybody a primer. Okay, well, I, I'm a, I like that, a primer. A primer. Uh, <laughs> I'm assuming we're going to start with color here. You want to figure out what color Absolutely. to use. Right, and if you go to a paint store, you can use, they have color decks there, and you can select from thousands and thousands of colors. Sure. Um, this is a very small deck. There are some that have, you know, a, a ton of different colors to choose from. That's one thing that you choose. Another thing that you have to choose, um, I've kind of outlined them on this board here, is um, the sheen, the shininess of the paint. If okay. you want to go flat, or if you want to go um, eggshell, or gloss, like real, real shiny. Like high gloss. High gloss. And there's different applications for each one. Like you would, if you, if you have lots of little kids around, you want a washable paint. Absolutely. If you have me around and you're getting anywhere near your walls, you want a washable paint. Okay. <laughs> so you want to go with at least an eggshell, perhaps a gloss in your house. <laughs> okay. That's good to know because, like you said, easy to clean. Right. Otherwise, if you have flat paint, it looks great, but when you have dirt on it, you just have to repaint. You can't really clean it. Understand. So it, it, but it looks good. I understand. Um, then you have to also choose if you're going to go with oil or latex, and you would choose one or the other based on um, oil is a lot more preparation. It's a lot more. It's a little harder to clean up. Why do people use it then? Just because it looks really big, thick, and rich. It does look really big, thick, and rich, but it's not as popular nowadays. Most people are going with water-based. It's better for the environment. It's it doesn't smell as bad too. Doesn't smell as bad. Yeah, we only pretty much use water-based now. Okay, good. Um, then you have to decide if you're painting inside or outside, yes. and there are different paints for each, so you have to tell your paint store which one you're using. Clearly one's more durable than the other. Right, and they have like milled sides and things on the outside that you wouldn't hopefully need inside your house. Yeah, hopefully you wouldn't, no, right. no. Um, and then there are also a, a ton of paints out there that are green, good for the environment. No VOCs or low VOCs, volatile organic compounds. Ah, good. I good, good, good. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, there are some that are 100% acrylic, um, which are really good and thick and solid. And then there are some that are really known for high hide. High hide? High hide. Is that like hide of an animal? What is, what is Not this? Not exactly. <laughs> Sorry, I really, I'm clueless about <laughs> That's this. That's okay. This is, a, this is a great paint that we've been using a lot lately. This is made by Benjamin Moore, and it's called Aura, and it's one of their green paints. And it is a high hide paint, which means you could paint a color as dark as this, this red. Okay. And um, pretty much coat it in one coat. Really? And it used to be that you had to put a gray primer down and then 13 coats of red but in order to get But not with red. this kind no, of paint. You can usually get away with one coat, now, maybe two. Is it more expensive though? Because I, I do know that yeah. a lot of the green paints happen yeah. to be a little bit more expensive. Yes. But if you're only using one coat then, right. It, right. it kind of evens it all out. Well, if, if you're doing the work yourself, you're going to only have to put one coat on, so you're going to do half as much work. Mm, yeah, yeah. So if a paint costs twice as much, it costs you an extra 20 bucks. It's worth it. Yeah, definitely. It is worth it. All right, definitely. let's get to the next technique. Okay. Because so, you have some really good ones here. Thank you. Okay, um, preparation. This is probably the most important thing you can possibly do. This is going to be the difference between a good job and a not so good job. Sure. So first thing is, if you have the opportunity to remove furniture from the room. Get it out of there. Get it away, because... Paint goes everywhere. Yep, that's why you tarp. Right. Tarp, tarp, tarp. So, cover it or, or remove it. And use a good tarp like is on this table here. Um, and this is a great one because it's, it's, um, so it's stickier on the other side so it doesn't move? Well, actually, that, that's kind of a good idea. I don't know that that's the case with this particular one. <laughs> okay. It might be if it's got some dirt on it. But um, this is actually canvas on one side and it's rubber on the other side. Huh. And so if you do spill a lot of paint on it, it will um, it won't go it won't bleed through the floor. Well, good because we don't want any stains on our floor. Jeff Monsignor, you're out of time. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. My and pleasure. stay tuned to daytime because later in the month we're giving you painting tips 102. We move right. to the next level, so that's going to be Great. exciting. Thank you. Hey, keep it here because after the break we have a lot of exciting stuff coming up. We're going to hear from the star of the Twilight series and Nurse Jackie. Stay with us.